welcome back folks to farm sim so we are now in april and the craziness is actually coming about um as you can see i actually just looked at this menu and had a full list of stuff to do and we don't have it but now that we have land we got to start worrying about getting contracts to make money to improve our land uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and borrow the items. It'll cost us, yeah, it'll cost us $3.96, but we, we don't have much option. We got to take it when we can. So let me go drive up to, uh, the shop and then see what we're dealing with. Also, what field was that, that we just accepted? 51 so 51 if we look at that on the map oh it's not really far away at all is it and we do want to do i know this sounds dumb to you guys um but i want to do contracts that are on the fields near us i do i, I can't remember if i talked about it in the next or that last episode but i'll try to pull this up here while we're driving so make sure we're good here and if you see there's a lot of little fields near us that we can end up buying uh, and I think that's gonna be one of our goals down the road but we got to first get equipment going and I have an idea what we're gonna do kind of I don't want to share it yet in case it changes but I have oh my gosh this thing at 60 flies um, but I'll be honest, I kind of don't want to share it just in case something changes, but I have a pretty good idea what we want to do on that first field we bought, uh, because that is going to be a field that probably does extend. Um, where is, oh, there's my fertilizer. Okay, so let's grab this, and I'll meet you guys at the field after I fill up here. Now, keep in mind, even though we get to borrow equipment here for these, uh, we do have to use our own fertilizer, so that $2,000 sounds like a lot, but it's really not as much when you factor in we're throwing our own fertilizer on it, and fertilizer is not cheap for us right now, and I'm not sure how we're going to actually figure that out, to be honest. We should... Huh maybe one of the first things we buy is actually a a trailer to move product around because we do have that if you guys do know over by the shop there is actually a cheaper place uh to buy fertilizer i do believe or is that lime maybe we'll have to go check that out here in a second we are done we'll unload our fertilizer that we do have left we have the tractor back at the shop and we will collect that so let's go ahead and i think we're gonna head over uh to that area where i think you can buy fertilizer it might be just lime though it does seem to be this spot, and it does seem to be only lime. It is actually called the lime station. Well, darn, so maybe that isn't our plan for today. I do know one thing, though, guys. We're going to have to go to April, the second day in April. We have nothing in here, and we don't have a month, enough money to do our own thing yet, so we do need to go ahead one day here. So let me do that. After, oh, as I learn how to drive, jeepers, this thing's all over the place. It is the second day in April here. Normally we would split these up, but we had no contract, so we have this. And also, as I always take a look at the shop, look at this sale shop. You guys, if you guys don't know, this is Dirty 30. This is our tractor we used a lot, and we don't have the money for it, but if I did... <laughs> We'd be buying that. Some actually decent little things in the shop here. Nothing that really we can do anything about right now. Uh, but let's take a look at contracts after it saves, of course. I'll be honest, I'm kind of hoping for a bailing one. 
Um, fertilizing. Ooh, we could get some fertilizer money. Uh, no baling. Oh, there is one baling job. Hmm, we should think about that here, folks. Uh, yeah, let me think about it. Like a glove. So what I'm thinking we're going to do today is we have a little bit of fertilizer there. And let's go to the shop. And let's see if we can afford... Yeah, well, we can't. Hmm. We can at least afford one. Right? Not enough money. Let's get one. And we might have to buy more. But I want to do a montage of all these fields here. Because this looks like a lot of work. And to be honest, it's really not too bad. Fertilizing goes really quick. And we are going to lease the items for this one. And then we are going to work our way uh, like this. We're just going to work our down the list. So, uh, with that being said, let me fill up the tractor and let's get started, folks. We are back and let's unload this guy out. Let's take the contract here and collect it. Now that we're back here and I have some exciting news, folks. We have now got enough money to get into a tractor and I have found the perfect one. Just take my word for it. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> Front weight, we're going the big one. Exhaust, um, I like that one. Seat, um, either will work. We'll go with the side one. Fenders, yes. Engine, we're gonna go with the base 50 horse for right now. We might upgrade him later. We'll set up tricycle. Main color, we're gonna leave alone. And license plates. Ours is going to be, let's go to type 2, and we are going to name this guy our first tractor. Our first tractor, the most important part of the whole series. We're going to name him Roy, uh, Roar, Roy, golly, I can't even talk today. Um, but we're going we're gonna to name him Roy, and I think that would be a good old name for a tractor. And we are going to go ahead and purchase Roy. Here it is. And let's take a look at it. Oop. Not mean to fast quick. Oh, yeah. This thing is... This thing is great. Let's, uh... Let's go out and take him out and see what top speed is. Burnout? We do a burnout. Nope, no burnout. Dang. Horn? Crappy horn. 
And we're pegged. <laughs> well, <laughs> there we go. We're pegged. It does look like he turns sharp, though. Yeah, he does turn pretty... Roy turns pretty sharp here. So, you're thinking, well, why do we need a tractor, right? Well, we need to start working on our land, and I didn't think we would be able to get to this today, but it looks like we will be able to. Um, let's go ahead, and actually, we should take this guy back and see what we need to do first to our land. We're back at 41, the field we own, and... I don't think it needs to be plowed, so we might be okay with not plowing it right away. All right, that's good to know, but we got a lot of weeds in here. That means we're going to have to buy a cultivator. And something that that guy can run, we're looking for 50 horse-ish. Uh, that one's 65. I, I could be wrong. I don't think he could run this. <laughs> uh, 20, 3 meters, 20 horse. We could run 20 horse, 40 horse. Oh, these are about the same deal, aren't they? 70 horse, 5 meters wide. Hmm. So it looks like 50, this is 4 miles, you know? Interesting. We could do either this one or this one. Um... Let me think about it here. It's already been 30 seconds and I already like this guy. I wish I didn't have the big weights in the front, but I know we're going to need them. And I decided to go with the little cultivator for a few reasons. Uh, one, the other one took all the horsepower this guy had and it was more expensive. It might have been a little bit wider, but we really don't know what this tractor can do yet. So. Instead of spending more money and possibly wasting it, I'm going to go with this little one. And also, if you guys have another name for Roar, Roy, oh my gosh, I can't even say a three-letter word today. My gosh. Don't hesitate to put it down in the comments. I'm always open to names. So, But for right now, we're going to name him Roy. I actually think with this little shortcut that we're taking that this might be one of the main entrances we used on the road. We'll have to keep that in mind. Um, but now, we get to try our new cultivator. Uh, we definitely make sure I don't miss it. Wow, and he moves with this thing. I'm happy so far with it. Huh. He does have all his 50 horse, that's for sure. And yes, of course, we have to name everything, every vehicle we get, so... Uh, I do forget to mention that sometimes. If you are new to the series, we name everything. Um, but, yeah, so... I... Hmm. This field's... You know, I know that this field isn't huge by the map standards. <laughs> but I was just thinking... This, this is going to take me a while. And I'm okay, because... Uh, we're going to do Edros, by the way. Uh, the... Endros, if you are new to farming, are like the rows around the outside. You kind of do them first a lot of times to give yourself room to maneuver. Because a lot of times in real life, you don't have these little miniature roads next to you. You have a big ditch a lot of times. Uh, but uh, I really love the beginning game where we're at right now. I just I love it. I love all Farm Simulator, but this beginning game of what we're doing right now is pretty awesome. I I could I could do this all day and night. I even though it's not very fast. <laughs> oh, we just put a scratch in the 
and the Mahindra. <laughs> uh, even though it's not very fast, I'm going to enjoy every moment of this. And obviously, I'm not going to keep you guys with for the whole thing, but... Uh, <laughs> Cause that would take a while but i really like i said i really do enjoy this part of the game i love the tractor we went with we have such a different start and this map offers a lot of different challenges than let's say no man's land because we're kind of got to deal no man's land it was kind of like a blank slate for us we could just kind of put everything where we wanted and do how we wanted because we're the only ones on the map the only land on the map and I really like the idea of this one where there's gonna be more challenges with it coming to building and stuff I'm not gonna be able to just slap a building like for example this hill a little bit of a hill I picked a pretty flat field for obvious reasons but there's a hill here so we're probably not gonna be able to do a ton on this side oh wow that was round I really, I really like this tractor. It turns very well. Uh, I, these tricycle front ends like this, they do that in real life too. They turn really well. The farm that I grew up on had one of these. You know, I really do like this tractor, but the air conditioner seems to be broke on it. Such a shame. Would have been the ultimate tractor if the air conditioner worked. Is this not the most beautiful field you've ever seen? All the weeds are gone. It looks like it is cultivated and ready to go. And so it looks like in the next episode, which will be May, we're going to get into planting. And uh, we're going to leave you guys on a little bit of a cliff about what we're planting. It might be a little different than what most people would expect. So I think we're going to park the tractor here for the time being. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, folks.